Hi, Rodney Friedan here with Table 301. We're back in the Sobeys loft and we're about to fabricate a chicken. You'll hear us call it breaking down a chicken, which is just doesn't even sound very nice, but that's like the professional, we're running around, we're gonna break it down, break it down, break it down. What we're gonna say, what we're saying is we're gonna fabricate it, which means we're gonna take this whole chicken and turn it into the different parts that you're familiar with, uh, that you wanna eat, like the legs, the thighs, the breasts, the wings. Um, and I just wanna show you how easy that is because when you go to buy those parts, they cost a lot of money. But when you go to buy a whole chicken, Huh, chicken doesn't actually cost a lot of money. Why am I pay so, paying so much for these parts? So here's what I like to do, okay? There's a good many different ways to do it, but we'll do it the way I like to do it. I turn it over first, okay? So normally you, you see your chicken sitting up with the breasts up, legs and thighs, wings. I like to just start by turning it over and I take my wings off. So I, take, I start by holding the wing and then I'm gonna insert my knife right in here, okay? And you can kind of feel right where it goes. And if you just slice, you'll find your knife finds it. Turn it around, do the same thing on the other side, like go right in. Like right, if you felt with your finger, it's right where it joins in. That's exactly where your knife's gonna go. And when you do it, okay, you will start to find it. If you have any trouble, you can actually pull it out a little bit like that. But you shouldn't really cut through bone, okay? So just keep finding it until your knife finds it. Okay, now we have the wings. If you're gonna make chicken wings like buffalo wings, then you'll want to take it one step further, which is to just do the same thing. So right where it goes in, you're gonna go, and your knife will find the little cartilage between the bone, and then you can take off that part. These you can put in stock or whatever, and these are your wings. So okay, so you have wings there. Okay, once we're done with that, we're gonna flip it back over. Now is when I like to take off my legs and my thighs, okay? And I take that off together. So again, right in between where the breast is, you see this little section, if you push it down, you can tell it's right there. That's where I'm gonna start to cut, okay? And once you start cutting that, you can see right in there. Now, once I've done that one, this is one where I actually will pull it apart. So right in there is the joint where it attaches and I just pull it till it comes out. Once it's out, you don't need to cut through any bone at all. It's that simple. Okay, so that's your leg and your thigh. Again, come back to the other side. I want to find right in there and we'll just slice it gently. And don't be scared, just do it. Okay. Then you have this section, you can clean it up even more. The more you do it, the better. And then we're just gonna pop that out. See that bone, how it just came out? and then we're gonna slice across. Okay, so there's two very nice legs and thighs. Now, some people, sometimes you have children, they like the legs and mom and dad like the thighs or something like that, so you wanna know how to separate them. Again, the chicken kinda of always shows you where to cut it. So, right where you find this section here, you're gonna put your knife right in there again, right in there, and you just start to go. And then you gotta feel around a little bit so you don't cut through the bone. So you're cutting through this little cartilage there, but you're never actually cutting the bone. So now you have a nice thigh there and a nice leg there. And same thing, find right down in there and just go right in it. And there you go, and I didn't cut through any bone, okay? The boning knife is not for cutting through bones. The boning knife is for cutting around bones, okay? Now, if you like, boneless, uh, skinless thighs, which a lot of people buy those in the supermarket. And it used to be you could get those for really, really uh, great price, but now people love them. And now I see the prices going up, 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 up on those. So you can just as easily do those. So if you want the skin off, simply pull the skin off and then you can just clean it up a little bit, okay? Then you can lay it down. So you see this nice shiny side where the skin was and the other side. And now we can just, just run your knife right on the bone. This is why the shape of this knife is what it is. It is very sharp that curves right up so you can get right along the bone there. And just kind of just trim away at it gently. No big cuts, no big craziness. 
And then once it's laid open, you can kind of take the bone and you can actually put your knife under it till it sticks out, see? And then separate it. Once you've done that, you can come right down and do the same thing. And there you go. And we keep going until it's off. Okay, and there's your thigh. Deboned, ready to go. If you wanted to stuff it, and then you could tie it up if you wanted to, or I just love cutting it up and putting it in things, or if I'm braising chicken or making like a chicken cacciatore or something like that, I love to use the thigh because it's nice and juicy and flavorful. All right, so there's your thighs, legs, wings, when you first get your chicken, you probably know that there's a little packet right in there. Often that's your chicken livers, the neck, and the giblets. These are different for all kinds of things. These two I would often cook together, and they like to be roasted or seared and then braised out because they have to cook for some time, but they will add beautiful flavor to any liquid you cook them in. And then the livers are a wonderful thing. Some people love them, some people hate them but frying them, searing them, lots of good ways to cook the livers, okay? Now, you have the rest of this carcass here, okay? There's a couple of different things we could do. If we wanted to, we could cut this down here, and then we might take a bigger knife and just separate them and have whole bone ends. But I find a lot of people really like to use the boneless breasts for things, so I figured it's better if I teach you how to debone them. <clears throat> okay, so if you look at your chicken, I'll show you this way. There's like a line. It's like it, it like drew itself for you right there. We're going to cut right on that line. Okay, that's right on the back one. We're just going to do a gentle, gentle cut. And you can see it separates. Okay, when you separate, you're going to come down one side or the other of this bone. Your knife will just do it. Just run down and it'll come down. In this case, I came down this right side. So now I'm just gonna go right up against the bone and you can see it's coming away just as I go. I'm gently tugging, not, not very hard. And it's the same thing we did before where we take the tip of the knife, run it right along the bone. And that's it, and just keep, that's why, it's, that's why it's flexible right there, see? And we put it in there and we just flex it right on there. And then we come through and there you go. And done, it's off. There's the chicken breast. I like it skin on because I love crispy skin chicken, but depending what you're gonna do on it, you might wanna take it off. So you can use your knife to give you a little help to free it up, but it mostly will just come off. And there's your boneless, skinless chicken breast. Okay? Now you come back and you just do the same thing, only you intentionally go on the other side. So what I do is I find this bone. There's a bone right here. A lot of this cartilage, this is a bone. So I go right up against the bone with my knife and I rest it there. And then I just do a little slice. And that's what I do. Come down. And then same thing. Now I'll turn it towards myself because I want to see what I'm doing. And I will do the same thing. I'll hold it. And I'll just run my knife right down until I've taken it off. There's a wishbone in there, so you can work your way around it. Alternatively, we could have just taken it out first. A lot of times we just take it out. But there it is, all right? This is your carcass. There's a couple little pieces right in here I'm gonna show you. It's really small, this is a little chicken here. So we're not really gonna, now we're not gonna get it too much here. There's not much there. But there's a little piece called the oyster. You guys know about it. If you're the one who carves chicken in your family after it's cooked, you know there's these two little morsels right in here, very moist, but this is a little guy. He, they're not very big. So what you can do with this is you can cut it in half. You can just use it to make stock, just put it in for soups or whatever you want to do with it, or you can just um, get rid of it. So clean up the breast a little bit so we don't have all this meat sticking out, but then we have very nice breasts. And also, by the way, there's the tender one. Here's the tenderloin. Make this neater. Okay, so that's part of our wing. There's the two tenderloins. One, two. Okay, so if you get chicken tenders, that's what it's supposed to be there. 
A lot of times it's not, a lot of times they just take a breast and cut it to look like that. But these are very, very tender, uh, very, very low fat, very nice part. All right, that's the chicken. Now, what I thought I would do is cut one of these in real time for you. Okay, so I showed you how to do it. Now watch how I would do it if I was actually kitchen. We're going to cheat and use a green cutting board. Usually use this for vegetables. All right. Now I'm looking at my chicken and I have about 24 of these. Here I go. One, two, Okay, oh, or we can just pull the tin lines off if you want to. Done. Okay. That's it. That's how you fabricate a chicken. And I hope you'll do that and save yourself a lot of money and uh, enjoy some good chicken.